six one. He just tried to reach there and has not reached anywhere. Eight one. Eight one is a very uh, different letter. He loves failure. Why should a person? How can a person love failure? Uh, what really happens is many times you have got a you have got a sister or a brother. She has got a brother. Now both of them come back from the school. She has got 87 percent, and her brother has got 26 percent. Now both come. She comes smiling, laughing, giggling home, and her brother comes crying. Now both come enter the house, and the grandmother uh, watches them coming inside. Grandmother calls them. What happened? Why she is laughing? Why you are crying? The, her brother says, "I got 26 percent." Now nothing left in that. Grandmother says, "Don't cry. I don't like crying. Take this thousand rupees. Have five hundred rupees ice cream. Five hundred rupees. Boom. Go." Then she says, "If twenty-six percent, thousand rupees. Eighty-seven percent, five thousand." Grandmother says, "Nothing doing. Do you have any problem? Do you have any anything to cry about? You don't have. So you take." Six hundred. Zero rupees ice cream. Zero rupees moon. She says nothing. Big. This is not fair. Now grandma says, "You don't have any problem. You are not supposed to be given any money." Now, if she wants to have thousand rupees, or ten thousand rupees, or five thousand rupees, then she has to increase her profits. Are you getting this? There are families who support failures, and there are families who say, "You are failing." First. Then you become successful, and then you lose. Then there is a craze for success. Here there is a craze for failure. If I tell you, if you have got a graphological problem, please come to our office. Then we have lunch, and then we solve the problem. You come every day with a problem because you want to have lunch. <laughs> if I tell you, if you get any problems, if you don't solve the problem, you come here. I'll make a ball of that. Paper and throw on your face. Before coming to the office, you will see a ball on your head. So you should not support failures. Be successful in coming. So that person will have a have a craving for that success. So these people have they love failure. Nine one, nine one. Instead of understand this, instead of going up, he is going flat. And what is happening by going flat? He is wasting time, consuming space, wasting time. I am consuming space and wasting time at wrong places. That's why he does wrong things. He is doing something wrong. He is doing something which he is not supposed to do. Ten to one. This is the person who is feeling guilty about achieving success because he has achieved and his close ones have not achieved.